new OnePlus 12 and the brand new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Two great new phones, but which is right for you? I've broken it down into nine key areas. Design and build quality, display, software, camera, battery and charging, performance, speakers, bonus extras, and of course, price. So let's start with design and build quality. And both are flashy looking numbers. The OnePlus 12 with its sleek curves and the S24 Ultra with its clean, sharp, angular lines. Two very different approaches here, but the Samsung phone is blessed with a stronger titanium frame to the aluminium on the OnePlus 12. But it also has a newer and stronger Corning Gorilla Glass armor on the front display, with an additional added anti-reflection quality finished off with Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the back. The OnePlus 12 has the same Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the front, but only Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. So Samsung takes the first category, but durability aside, what is actually the best display panel? Well, all of the 2024 flagship trimmings have gone into both of these phones in this category. 120Hz, Quad HD+, LTPO, AMOLED, but OnePlus have gone with a panel made by BOE and claim a peak brightness of a whopping 4,500 nits compared to the 2,600 on the S24 Ultra, which is an absolutely astonishingly bonkers claim. Now, as far as I understand it, it can technically be measured using just one pixel switched on a quality AMOLED screens have, and thus all of the power can go into that one pixel when all of the others are off, and also only when viewing certain HDR video, meaning the full 4,500 nits can be achieved in that one small area, and only when watching certain HDR video. So in reality, in real world use, you won't really see that figure. However, to the naked eye, even with the extra brightness settings turned on on the Samsung phone, the OnePlus 12, to my eyes, looks ever so slightly brighter. It is, of course, marginal, but we are nitpicking in this category. And on top of that, OnePlus have developed a technology called AquaTouch, which can detect water droplets and is able to adjust the touch sensitivity settings accordingly. So if you're using the phone in light rain, for example, you should have slightly less issues than you would on a standard display. Both definitely top the pile for 2024 displays, and the S24 Ultra does have fractionally smaller bezels and punch hole camera cutout. But if you like the curved look with its 2160Hz PWM dimming to help with eye strain, the OnePlus 12 might actually just edge it here. Now, a lot of that display enjoyment comes down to how smooth the navigation feels when pairing that panel hardware with the software. Samsung, with their latest One UI updates, have done a lot of work on getting their phones to feel much smoother on the scroll. But OnePlus have been famed for having their fast and smooth devices for years, and the OnePlus 12 is beyond blazing. I don't know whether this translates on video very well, but the animations on OnePlus's Oxygen OS 14 do feel a touch smoother than Samsung's One UI 6.1. I, of course, fully appreciate the category of software is incredibly subjective. If you prefer having a glut ton of new AI features like Circle to Search and Live Translate, or having incredible cross-platform compatibility with features like Samsung DeX, linking your phone to an external display for a desktop-like experience, then the S24 Ultra might be the better bet. But if you prefer a slightly more stock feel, of course, not quite as much as it used to be, where minimalism and simplicity is key, and quite frankly, the fastest Android experience I've used to date, then you may sway for the OnePlus 12. And let's not get it twisted. You do still get a sprinkling of unique additional software features with the OnePlus 12, the likes of the shelf for quick access to customizable widgets with a swipe down on the homepage, and quick launch, which as the name suggests, quickly launches pickable apps or features with a press hold and swipe on the fingerprint scanner from the lock screen. I can really truly appreciate both. And for me, there is no definitive winner in this category. So I'm gonna have to score it a draw. Software can of course play a huge part in how the camera performs, but who is camera king? Well, I do have a winner for this category overall, but both excel in their own specific areas. The OnePlus 12 has an industry first 50 megapixel Sony LYT808 main camera with a one over 1.4 inch sensor size and regular shots are really pretty impressive. It is going head to head with Samsung's 200 megapixel main sensor however so if you are looking for that added sharpness and detail when cropping in or enlarging images the s24 ultra does have more flexibility with resolution options at the top of a screen both phones feel much more natural than devices the companies traditionally have produced in the past color temperatures aren't quite as warm or artificial looking but the s24 ultra is slightly more saturated could argue the samsung handset does provide more social media ready images 
You don't have to faff around with filters and colors, etc., as much potentially. But if you want a more true to life kind of vibe, you might prefer the bulk of the images from the OnePlus 12. HDR is pretty excellent on both, but the S24 Ultra probably just about shades the bright spots like the sun, etc., slightly better. When shooting moving objects, both can suffer with a slightly slow shutter speed at times, so motion blur can be a problem, but when subjects are still, you won't be disappointed with either, especially in portrait mode. Both have options at 1, 2, and 3x, but the S24 Ultra also offers that five times beautifully cinematic option too, made available thanks to the new 50 megapixel five times optical periscope telephoto lens. It also has a three times optical zoom telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide, completing the setup. The OnePlus 12 only has one telephoto lens of a 64 megapixel periscope variety with three times optical zoom and a 48 megapixel ultra wide. The ultra wides look largely similar with again, really impressive HDR, but the S24 Ultra is wider at 120 degrees compared to 114. This means you can fit more into a scene, but the higher 48 megapixel count on the OnePlus 12 means, again, if you were to crop in, you possibly would get more details on the OnePlus phone. And along those lines with the additional five times optical zoom lens, in simple terms, the S24 Ultra when zooming in anywhere over five times, should theoretically look sharper because it's using more actual hardware as opposed to more software to produce the image. And in my testing, this is largely true. The OnePlus 12 does support a six times in-sensor zoom, and you can go even further but 120 times total zoom than the Max 100 on the Samsung phone, which is ludicrous. But at that range with only three and five times max optical hardware, the quality on either isn't that useful for me personally. You can still get some nice images around that 30X mark though. If we flip to the front, the OnePlus 12's 32 megapixel selfie camera really impressed me. It can show slight smoothing at times with possibly greater details on the S24 Ultra, but the Samsung handset can sometimes be a little bit inconsistent in terms of color temperature and white balance, making me sometimes look a little bit green and sick, with the OnePlus 12 remaining pretty consistently natural in this department. Subjectivity is key here, which do you prefer? In low light, both have automatic night modes, which clicks in when required, and again, both can produce similar eye-catching images, making it fairly hard to choose. The OnePlus 12, again, possibly more natural and sometimes bright Brighter, but less saturated, but also, especially in the ultra wide mode, can produce a little more noise. The clincher here, again, for me, is that five times lens, as it means if you are zooming in in low light, you'll simply be able to pick out more details when going to 5, 10, 20, 30x. Two very impressive cameras, but when taking everything into account, the S24 Ultra is probably slightly more complete, but the tables turn when it comes to battery. And when taking into account charging speeds as well, there's only one winner, and it's not even close. The S24 Ultra has a 5,000 mAh battery capacity, which is decent, it's flagship, but in a smaller footprint, the OnePlus 12 is packing a 5,400 mAh cell, and that's not a small jump. On top of that, the included 100 watt fast charger means that phone can be filled in under half an hour, at which time the S24 Ultra would be around 60 to 65 percent, with its not included 45 watt charger. Larger battery, faster charging, there really is only one battery winner. I ran an Antutu benchmark test to put the internal hardware through its paces to start the performance comparison, and the S24 Ultra did edge it in the numbers, mainly on CPU scores. Both phones are powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. However, the S24 Ultra has the tweaked 4 Galaxy version, which may explain this difference. I am fully aware that these are both pre-release review units, so things may be tweaked slightly for the retail versions that you would buy, so take these numbers with a pinch of salt. According to some tests, part of the four Galaxy chipset have been overclocked, and some have actually been underclocked, so the performance difference between the two will largely be, for the average user, 90% of what you use it for, pretty insignificant in the difference. Having said that, I did decide to see if there were any visible differences in a quick speed test, opening different apps and seeing which would load first. All apps were closed prior to test, so these are fresh loads. And like when I compared the S24 Ultra with the iPhone 15 Pro Max in a speed test, even though they were incredibly similar in terms of load times for those apps, on more times than not, 
the S24 Ultra did load those apps quicker. And the same was present here against the OnePlus 12. Milliseconds in it, hair's breadth stuff but it should be shared. Jumping onto speakers, both are stereo, both are of a very high standard, but the OnePlus 12 does sound slightly more muffled at times, with the S24 Ultra a slightly richer, more well-rounded audio sound experience. And then we have the bonus extra features, where the two main ones I've picked out for Samsung is, of course, the trusty S Pen. This will divide opinion. You will either probably use it religiously and find it incredibly useful, or it'll stay pretty much 90% of the time tucked in the phone without being used at all. You also have Samsung DeX, which again is there for workflow. It basically allows you to create your own mini workstation where you can pair up your phone with a keyboard, a mouse, uh, an external display, and have a more desktop-like PC experience. And like with the S Pen, this will either be something that you will probably never use, or it'll be absolutely essential in your day. The OnePlus 12, on the other hand, slightly more subtle, in terms of their bonus features, but also incredibly fan favorite, if that makes any sense. We have, of course, the alert slider number one, so much so that it got dropped on one of the phones a year or so ago, and there was so much backlash from OnePlus fans that they decided to bring it back on the very next model. And we also have here an IR blaster, something again that seemed to disappear from so many phones. It's here, and again, it has a huge cult following almost. Two very different styles of bonus features. Again though, very, very subjective. I'm gonna have to score bonus features as a draw. And of course then there's price. Now the S24 Ultra is undoubtedly one of the most complete flagship smartphones you will see in 2024, but it comes with a price tag, £1,249 starting from. Now, on the other hand, you get nigh on the bulk of a smartphone experience that you do with this, 899 this starts from. And depending on where you sit in terms of budget, that could be hugely significant. The S24 Ultra, as you've seen in this comparison, has across the board just about shaded it, but depending on how important budget is for you, that final swing back to the OnePlus 12 might actually be bigger than it appears on paper. And there's no doubt about it, the OnePlus 12 might be the best pound for pound flagship smartphone that we're gonna see this year in 2024. Either way, two fantastic options. Are you team Samsung or are you team OnePlus? Let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, it would be an absolute wonder to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel because it has taken me a long time to make this video and I would appreciate it. My name's Adam, you've been the best as always. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Says so TP peace out.